good morning. <laughs> so, welcome to another Motivation Monday. So I decided to start doing motivations on Monday mostly because Monday is the hardest day of the week. Why? Because you just got off the weekend, you're feeling good, you just you got to sleep whenever you wanted to, you got to wake up whenever you wanted to, and now you're back to Monday and you gotta start all over again. You gotta wake up on time, you gotta get to work, you gotta do your job, you gotta take your lunch, and then you gotta get off work and then do it all again for the rest of the week. So, for the record, your Monday can be any day of the week before your vacation. Some people don't have weekends, some people have days off during the week, and so on. So, here's to your motivation Monday. I'm gonna talk a little bit about figuring out how to get yourself motivated. Some of the things that I've tried are figuring out what makes me excited to do something, figuring out how to get myself to get up and get at it, and figuring it out and all of that stuff. And so, one thing that I figured out that I have to do is I have to let myself get a good start. What I mean by this is my Mondays, I can kind of get up whenever I want to, so I need to let myself get up when I'm okay. So part of the reason why I was taking some time off from working was because I was overly stressed, I was burnt out, I was really tired, I was really just not good. I was going at a hundred the entire time and I needed to take a break to recharge, refuel, to do all of that good stuff. So I decided, all right, we need to take care of ourselves and what's been really frustrating and hard for me is I was beating myself up over when I got up so my husband gets up for work around 6 5 45 6 o'clock something like that um, so I would get up with him I would get his lunch ready I would get his coffee ready and make sure he was all ready to go with everything he needed to take and then when he left my plan was like, okay, well, I'm already up, I will stay up, and I will do the things, and I will be productive, and that wasn't working for me. I was really tired, I was really frustrated, I didn't really feel like I could get anything done, because I was just not feeling it, and I was really frustrated with myself. Did I say frustrated enough? And so, it made it really difficult for me to feel like I was being productive and getting things done, and figuring out how I had all of that energy to do stuff. So I decided, okay, I need to let myself rest. And that's when I realized I was really tired because suddenly I was getting up and going to sleep, you know, early with my husband because he needs to get up early. I was getting up early with him and then I was going back to sleep for another hour or two and then I would get up again and I was still, I was sleeping more than he was. And I was still feeling tired because I was being really hard on myself as well. That okay, well you have to get up now because it's already late and it's already this and it's already that. And it it just made it a lot harder for me. And I was just realizing how tired and exhausted I was. So I said, okay, we need to figure out a better way to get me up because it's not happening. The alarm clocks aren't working. I'm getting up and being frustrated. And I'm not doing okay. Then I remember that it's the little things and some research and some stuff like that and so one of the things is it's a lot easier to get up when you're getting up with daylight and I remember this from when I was at my apartment because I didn't have as many curtains and also curtains are expensive and so when the Sun came up which is usually right around when I needed to get up anyway with my alarm clock so my alarm clock would go up wake up and there was some sunlight coming into my room and that made it a lot easier to get up. And that was something that I didn't realize I was missing because, I don't know if you noticed, my husband has blackout curtains. So you can't see the daylight in here. And it's not the same when you turn on all the lights, it's just, it's not. So I figured if I open the curtain on one side after he leaves, I can wake up with daylight. And I started to feel better. Surprise, surprise. And then I started to do things a little bit at a time. So one thing that I read is if you get up in the morning and you make your bed, no matter how the day goes, whether it's a good day or a bad day, or you feel like you never got anything done, you at least got one thing done. Also, my husband asked me that I make bed before I do my videos. 
So that was what I did. I got up and some days I can strip the entire bed down and dust it off and do the whole nine yards and like <laughs> get it all together. Some days I just kind of straighten up the sheets and fold it, but I make sure it looks good and I make sure I get the bed done. I also have to at least dust it off. So I was getting something done in the morning and that was helping. And then, okay, I need my coffee. So I will go and I will start the coffee machine and then I will do my morning routine, which is, you know, the brush your teeth, use the restroom, wash your face, brush your hair, do your skincare routine. And then, okay, once I'm happy, I'm settled, I'm ready, I'll come to my vanity and I'll either do my makeup or I'll fix my hair or I'll just clean up and put stuff away or figure out what I want to do for my blog and take my time getting ready. I'll have my coffee and then I started to add in working out. So I figured that if I get dressed and I feel really pretty, like I'm going out somewhere, I don't want to go and work out. Why? Because I'm already all dressed up and I can't work out when I'm dressed up. So I've started to dress like I'm going to work out first and then I'll just put a jacket on because I'm wearing like a tank top thing going on over here because I'm gonna work out later. So set yourself up for success. And that is something that I've heard a lot. Set yourself up for success. Figure out, you know, what you need to do. Make sure you're getting everything put together. Don't, you know, make it harder than it needs to be in the first thing in the morning. But I didn't really understand what that meant. So I am distracted by a kitty who's trying to get into my laundry. Say hi, Blue. <laughs> figure out what's going to motivate you to get you set up right. Maybe it's getting one of those fancy coffee machines that has a timer and so it'll automatically start making coffee at a specific time. And so that'll be your, okay, I really have to get out of bed because then my coffee's going to be cold. Or maybe it's just opening up some curtains so you can wake up with the daylight. Maybe it's going to be, you know, finding a fun skincare routine that you like and so that'll get you up and doing it. But set yourself up for success. And what it looked like for me was getting some daylight in here to help me get up, getting my coffee ready, having a set routine that I enjoy doing, and then dressing the way I needed to to get the next thing done. So the next thing is going to be working out. So I'm not going anywhere until after this video kind of thing. So go put your workout clothes on. And I had to connect with somebody this morning. So got to go and chat with somebody from one of the networking groups I'm a part of and I set up the video and everything and I made sure that I wasn't too unprofessional and got talking and we had a good connect and then I came and did my video and it doesn't look terrible. It's not like I'm over here red faced and puffy and sweating which was something that I didn't want to do and it made it harder for me to work out because I'm like but I don't want to get all puffy and red and sweaty and gross and you know how you get when you work out, like all of the, all the glorious glowing that comes with working out. So I said, okay, I'll do it after. Okay, well, I'm going to get really hungry and I can't work out when I'm hungry because I'm going to get grumpy and I won't do it for as long. Eat a snack. Eat a thing. Get a fruit, get a veggie, get a yogurt, get something that will set you up for success. And so stop, I decided and I figured out then I needed to stop fighting what I wanted and what I needed. For a while it was, no, I can't eat before I work out because I'll get all nauseous or I'll throw up or I'll do something. Eat less. And we always seem to feel like I have to do it like everybody else. Well, my mom does this or my sister does this or my friend does this or so-and-so does this and that's how it works for them. Great, that's their routine and you can try it to see if it works for you but if it doesn't, don't feel bad. Don't force yourself to go through with it. My husband is just is not a morning person, does not do well in the morning. Like the first thing he does when he wakes up is drink coffee and then drink more coffee. And then maybe you can have a conversation with him. <laughs> but that's just what works for him. And when he gets going, he feels good. He feels better. That doesn't work for me. I need to get up early-ish, like at eight or nine. It's like the latest I can sleep in sometimes. And I have to get up and I have to do my routine. And so I'll just sneak out of bed on the weekends when he needs to sleep in and I'll go 
I'll use the restroom, brush my hair, do my morning routine, all of the good stuff, and then I'll go. I'll kind of peek in, see how he's doing, if he's kind of more or less ready for coffee. And then I'll go make coffee, or I'll have my bowl of cereal because I need to eat more frequently than he does. And so I'll have cereal, or I'll make my breakfast, and then I'll come back with the coffee for him and me. And I'll just sit there. I won't go back to sleep because that's not going to work for me because if I do, I'll get a headache, I'll feel gross, I won't want to do anything else. So instead of forcing myself to follow his routine, I'm doing my own routine and commingling it with his. So I'll come back to bed, but I won't go back to sleep. I'll sit up and I'll drink my coffee and I'll either watch videos on my phone or I'll play games on my phone as he's waking up and if he decides to wake up, he'll sit there and he'll drink his coffee and maybe we'll watch... Netflix or YouTube videos or play a game on the TV or something and we figured out our recipe for success in the morning. If you've ever done any cooking or any baking, it's very important to prep your stuff before you do it because otherwise you're running around and things are burning and you need the next step and you need this and you need that and it's just not ready for you and you're rushing and it's harder and it makes it less enjoyable. If you prep out what you need or schedule out how you prep it makes it so much easier and more enjoyable. Usually when I'm cooking, I'll prep all the veggies and everything I need to do. If I'm cutting up stuff, if I need to cut the meat, if I need to heat the skillet, heat the oven, whatever I need to do, I'll make sure I order it so that, okay, this needs to get ready so that when I'm done with this, it can go straight to the pan and this needs to be ready so that when that's done, I can add the next thing or I can do this or I can season or I can do all of we need to do that for our own lives. We need to get up, we need to figure out what's gonna be easier. Maybe you don't wanna do your morning routine until after you've had your coffee. Okay, get up and get your coffee and just sit there with it. Make sure you have enough time in the morning that you can do that. Make sure you have everything you need. It's one of the easiest examples is nobody likes to get gas before work. So you have to get up that much earlier, you have to go to the gas station, you have to fill it up, and then you have to go. Nobody wants to do that. So the day before, make sure you have gas in your car. Or make sure you have enough gas to get to work so you can fill it up on the way back. Or during your lunch. Make sure you're not making it harder on yourself because you can have the motivation, but if it's gonna be that hard, nobody wants to fight an uphill battle to get up on a Monday or to get up on whatever day, or to start a new routine. I'm not ever really excited to do workouts. It's just not in like something that I enjoy. So I make it easier, I make it fun. I started, I organized all of my clothing. So it's like, okay, I open it up and I put something on. I like this shirt, I'm having fun with this shirt. Putting on my favorite leggings, I'm gonna put my socks on the way I want to, and I'm gonna put my shoes on, and I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna work out. If I wanna tie up my hair, if I don't wanna tie up my hair, if I usually let the cats out when I'm outside so I feel like I'm multitasking and I'm going to be out there anyway because I need to water the lawn or whatever else I'll need to do. I'll make sure that it's not harder than it needs to be. And that's the point of this motivation one day. Don't kill your motivation by making it harder. Don't do it. If you feel like you're being shortcut or you're cheating yourself because, you know, well, I can't make it too easy, why not? Why is it cheating if you make life a little bit easier for yourself? Now, if you're cutting corners and not being safe, that's a different thing. If you're just setting up a coffee timer so that way coffee's ready for you, you don't have to worry about it in the morning, that's not cheating, that's just being smart and prepping ahead. Don't kill your motivation before it's had a chance to get anything done. Thanks for listening.